mouth calls. I get asked all the time, what do you recommend for a beginner? What's the best mouth call to start out with? That question has a thousand answers, I would imagine. Um, it's different for everybody. Different people are different. Some people start off better with a V-cut. Some people start off better with no cuts. Some people a bat wing, a combo, three reeds, two reeds. What I recommend is buy a couple calls, practice using them, see which one you like the best. It's got to do with your scent, your your airflow in your mouth, your center of air, your channel of air, where it's coming from, um, how much air you're pushing into the call, how capable you are. There's so many variables to what is going to be best for you. You need to try several out. Now, one thing I do recommend that most time I say is start with a two read and less aggressive cuts, usually like a no cut or maybe a, a, a B cut or something like that. Something that has not got a lot of heavy cuts in it because it, it's easier to get a sound out of it. Which leads me to my next point. The first video I want to do on this is how to use a call and how to get a sound out of the call. If you want to know how to use a mouth call, the first thing you got to do is get a sound out of it. Don't worry about yelping and cutting and all that key keys and everything at first until you figure out how to get noise out of the call. Um, so we're going to go over that real quick. If you already know how to get sound out of the call and you're worried more about a yelp or worried more about a cut, then go to the next video in this series and, and I'll go over those. But one thing we want to focus on is how to place the call in your mouth and how to get a sound on it. Most of your calls will have a logo, which usually goes up. Now, another way of telling how to place it is your cuts on your call, your top read will have cuts in it. That goes up. Your bottom reads have no cuts. That goes down. You place the call in your mouth outside the latex facing out. The horseshoe part will go in. So, just like that. Place the call on your tongue. Push it up to the roof of your mouth. You'll find that comfort spot once you figure it out. It'll settle into your mouth naturally to where it closes off the airflow. So what to do is put, put the call in your mouth, push up, and blow air across it. The reeds vibrate giving you the sound. Now, don't blow from your jaws like you're blowing up a balloon. You don't want to do that. You want to blow from your diaphragm. I've said it a lot of times, you're panting like a dog or huffing air across that call. So you're not like blowing from your cheeks, from your mouth, like you would a balloon, but rather from your diaphragm. So pant or huff into the call <laughs> from your diaphragm, not <laughs> like you're blowing up a balloon. So put the call in your mouth, on your tongue, push it up as tight as you can get it at first to the roof of your mouth. You may even have to put a little air pressure on it. Or, I mean, a little more pressure on it. Like that. Push up with your tongue. Keep your tongue on the call. Huff. That's what you want to get to start with a call, is that noise. Now, it could tickle your tongue until you get used to it. Some people have a gag reflex. There's really not a lot you can do about that besides maybe trimming some tape off the call. Some people just can't use a mouth call because of a gag reflex. But worry about getting that noise first, that initial high point to the call, and then to get a yelp or a cut, then you drop your tongue. Your pressure is what controls how high pitched or loose pitched that call is. That's what you want to get first, is that noise. And then drop your jaw for a yep. Cut, just cut across it. I say the word buck or whatever you want to say. But we'll focus on that more right now. What I want to talk about right now is getting noise out of that call. You got baby steps. You got to crawl before you walk, as the saying is. Worry about getting that noise. Again, place the call in your mouth. Push up with your tongue. <sighs> Huff air across the call. So, hopefully that helps. Start with this noise. And we'll go into the next videos. And we'll go on a yelp and a cut and things like that.